Welcome to ESB Science Blast. We'd like to share some of our top tips for your investigations. In this video, we'll describe some of the scientific habits that can help you to avoid some of the pitfalls of conducting experiments that investigate human behavior. Our first tip is simple. It's called, keep it simple. Look at the test that Lauren has designed for part of her investigation into our sense of taste. She has 12 different coloured fruit flavoured drinks lined up. Her plan is to get each volunteer to taste all the samples and then line them up in order of sweetness. She's worked out how she's going to do it safely and hygienically and is even going to get each person to rinse their mouth with water between each tasting to refresh their taste buds. She tells everybody that she's doing this test because she wants to gather information about human abilities to sense sugar levels in foods. Lauren thinks that by having 12 samples, she's going to get lots of information. But can you predict what kind of problems she could encounter when the tests start? How could this affect the quality of her results? If you make your tests too hard or too long, most people will either give up or make it up, which will really damage the quality of your results. When it comes to science experiments, sometimes less is more. With only three or four samples, Lauren's test is more likely to produce reliable information. Lauren took our advice and reduced her taste test down to four different coloured drinks. And we're happy to say that she's already ahead of the game when it comes to our tip number two, blind testing. Lauren has carried out her test on 20 people and this has given her some interesting results that she's quite excited about. But all the way through the tests, she has made sure that everyone is blind to certain key pieces of information. Firstly, she has not mentioned to anyone at all the drinks in the test are in fact the same clear drink with the same level of sweetness. She has just given them a different look with tasteless food colourings. She also didn't tell them the full title of her investigation is Does colour affect our perception of how sweet foods taste? Can you discuss why it was important for Lauren to keep this information to herself until the tests are all over? How could revealing this have affected the result of this particular test on humans? Humans can be tricky things to investigate. Our thoughts and our expectations can heavily influence what we sense or feel. So bear this in mind when designing any tests on humans. Be very careful about what you communicate to the people who do your tests. The best way to introduce our third tip is by looking at Dara's investigation. He has a friend who enjoys drinks that are high in caffeine and sugar. His friend claims that these drinks help him concentrate better when doing schoolwork. Dara is not convinced. So he tries to make a scientific measurement of any change in mental performance created by these drinks. One of his tests involves asking people to complete 10 challenging maths problems. He asks 15 people to complete them on their own in silence. He times how long it takes each person to complete the task. He then gives each person a sample of his friend's drink. 10 minutes later, he asks them to sit down and repeat the same maths challenge. He finds that everyone in the group finishes the task in a shorter time. Do you think he should take this result as scientific proof that his friend's drink really does enhance mental performance? What is the potential problem here? And are there any solutions? Dara wanted to repeat the same task because he was trying to make sure his investigation was a fair test. But for humans, some tasks are easier second time round and this can make it more difficult to make scientific discoveries. 
So, when designing any repeatable tests on humans, our third tip is be very careful to avoid the easier when repeated problem. So, when testing human behaviours, make sure you follow our three top tips. Keep it simple, opt for blind testing if necessary, and plan wisely to minimise the easier when repeated problem.